Hey guys, today I want to talk about people selling or trading fake dual lands on Star City Games Indianapolis. And there's also rumors of them in GP San Jose. Now, a lot of you have commented that fakes will never get good enough, that people will trade for it. Well, I guess there was two opinions that you had. Uh, one opinion was, I just want to buy fake magic cards for my cube. I don't want to uh, necessarily sell or trade them. I just want them for personal use, to make a legacy deck, for kitchen table, yada, yada, yada. Uh, that might be true for like 1% of the people, but 99% of the cards are probably going to go to people who want to sell them or trade them for actual cards. And the reason this is the case is it's so simple like when you read these posts on reddit like it seems like every dude can get them um dhl you get it two days from now if you order from alibaba you get two days delivered uh shipping 40 dollars international anywhere globally you can get in two to four days and a lot of people on reddit always say i have it i have it i have it and that's kind of concerning because if it's pretty much that easy to have as well as Alibaba being an actual stock right now and being an actual company uh, that's also very scary because you know Hasbro probably has no impact on Alibaba at all they cannot force Alibaba to take down these web I, they, they can't even force them to take down these shops to be honest with you in my opinion because if you even if you could then you take out one two of them will pop up so a lot of these, the second concern was that people would, that the fakes would never get good enough that I would trade for them. Or you personally would trade for them. You know, when I first got involved with um, learning about these counterfeits, what scared me was not the quality of the counterfeits. Remember, this was like 14 months ago and the quality was actually extremely low. It was the fact that they kept Im improving them. And it kept getting better and better and better. And this comes down to pretty much Dowson. It's always been about Dowson. Um, Dowson recently graduated. He had recently graduated from college. Uh, he lived in his parents' basement, or not in a basement, but in an extra room. Uh, he's never He never played Magic. He didn't know what Magic cards were good. Actually, one of the first cards he counterfeited was a mountain. <laughs> like, honestly, that's how bad at Magic he was. With support, um, Dawson has received a lot of support from the Magic community, which surprised me, but I mean, what can you do? He has a god book of all the biggest, all of the uh, highest resolution images of these cards, and he has the correct paper. He can pass the bend test, the light test. He can do all of that, and he can make it so that people trading, remember, these are MTG finance people, or these are, if you're going to trade for a dual land, you probably know what you're doing and you probably have the assets to trade for a dual land. Then, you know, and you're, the people you're trading to and with and this group of people, they are very, very um, experienced in detecting fakes or, you know, red flags. So reports that all of these fake counterfeit magic cards are appearing in GPs and Star City games. Um, does not surprise me because the quality has continued to increase every single month. There's a new batch. There's a new uh, TCG player report that there are fakes. There's a new eBay report. I mean, there's just so many fakes out there. Uh, I The solution is pretty simple in my opinion. The solution is to make the game more affordable. When Abercrombie & Fitch was being, and I was actually, I worked kind of with this case, when they were being counterfeited, like counterfeited so heavily in China, what they said was, you know what, we're going to make a better product and we're going to have higher quality materials and we're going to, you know, create a product customers want. Magic has the same opportunity. If people want dual lands, give them dual lands. If people want the reserve list gone, give them the reserve list. There is a reason that Yu-Gi-Oh cards are no longer being counterfeited. It's because there's no need to, because you can the cards are going to be reprinted anyway. So Wizard of the Coast, would you rather have Dowson and his gang of uh, counterfeiters 
making all this money? Or would you want to do it officially? Get rid of the reserve list. Um, reprint cards that need to be reprinted. Um, there's no reason to support the secondary market. I, I know, and I can get into this argument a little later, I know a lot of you hate when I say that, but uh, the secondary market, like it did not exist when I first played this game. When I first played this game, you opened the Shivian Dragon and that was amazing. And you just had so much fun bragging with your friends. You didn't care what that dragon was worth. And that's why Shivian Dragon would typically be traded for you know, ton. You know, you could trade. I would trade ten dual lands back then for Shivering Dragon if I had them. I unfortunately did not have enough cards to trade for a Shivering Dragon. But had I, yeah, I would have. And now you're, you're dealing with, you're dealing with a secondary market where cards are 100, 200, 500, 1,000, a couple tens of thousands of dollars. Yes, people are going to be greedy, and yes people are going to try to sell you fake cards. I mean, this is the evolution of a trading card game, right? Uh, 